Hey everyone, the numbers are in for Palmetto Trace in Panama City Beach for October 2022. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I'm chuckling a little bit because uh, it's first of all, it's a nighttime edition of the updates. November 1st, we still have some spooky lights left over um, from Halloween, but I'm also chuckling because I've just run through 13 of these market updates for different neighborhoods and condo projects, 14 actually, I think. Um, there's some important information to talk about in the market. I just wanted to get everything out. I turned 50 tomorrow, so I was going to take a little bit of time off in the afternoon. Um, so I'm laughing because this is the last one I'm doing, and uh, I'll be ready to be done talking numbers for tonight. Uh, but some important things to notice. We've been focused on this red line in the housing market in Panama City Beach for a while. This is the overall market, then we'll do Palmetto Trace specifically. Uh, the red line, we were we were following the red line a lot because that had to do with our supply. We knew we had so many buyers for houses that that was a pretty good constant. So the red line would really tell us if the market was hot or hotter, essentially. Uh, that we flattened out on our supply over the last four months, uh, but this month's of inventory number is what we're focusing on now because rather than the supply changing a ton, buyer demand is plummeting. We have far few buyers in the market than we did just a few months ago for a lot of reasons. I won't go into that tonight, but um, essentially we've moved up and it's taking us about five and a half months to sell a house in Panama City Beach now where it was taking us a month or two at most just a few months ago. Um, first of all, that is not a scary thing generally in real estate. I've been selling real estate for 19 years. It, so taking five months to sell a house is, is basically normal, the normal pace of things in real estate. It feels like an eternity right now because things were so much hotter than that, but um, not something to be terribly scared about. You would you would think pricing would stay pretty flat for a while. We are, however, watching that months of inventory number because if it trickles up to the six seven month range, like it is in the condo project, you start you could start to see pricing uh, get pressure on pricing and those things to be affected from there. Um, Palmetto Trace specifically, this is looking at the detached single family market. Detached single family market in, in Palmetto Trace is still hotter than most of the rest of the beach. Two months of inventory is as is, is hot as, as we have out there. So very good demand. If you're thinking about selling a house in Palmetto Trace, it's still a very good market to be doing that. Um, this is, oh, let's see. I wanted to pull the townhomes also. The townhomes market, loading, loading, loading. Sorry, I didn't have this up for you previously. Um, just as hot, maybe even hotter. So uh, we didn't have a, um, we couldn't even pull a number because there wasn't a, an active listing, but we did have a sale last month. So extremely hot market there. Just to show you a few things on some recent pricing, a two bedroom closed in the townhome section for 318. There's one, the asking price is 325. It's under contract. Another one, the asking price is 325. It's under contract. Uh, another one closed at 325. Another one asking 338 is there's a sale pending. Over in the detached single families, 238 Oxford, we helped the seller sell that one uh, for 432.050. Oh, uh, $432,050. Uh, another recent sale, $449, um, $32 on Middleburg, asking $459. It's under contract. Another asking for, uh, for actually closed at $480 over on Oxford. A $32 asking $499, a sales pending uh, over on Amherst. Uh, we had a closing at $509, Covington a closing at $515. Lots of closings in Palmetto Trace. Uh, we're in Kensington, 520. Uh, we have one for sale in Biltmore, but look at all these other closings. Closing on Amherst at 550, another asking 599. So I'm not digging into the details of too many of those at the moment tonight. Um, but as you can see, way more closing sold, sold transactions, homes under contract. Very different than a couple other neighborhoods I looked at tonight. But uh, the, the main takeaway there, uh, Palmetto Trace is probably as strong of a market as we have in P Panama City Beach at the moment. So if you are thinking of selling in the short term, still a very good market to be selling in. Overall, we're watching the market to see 
if we slow down enough to get into that range where we're worried about depreciation right now, I think things are pretty flat for now, especially in Palmetto Trace. Again, December, I'm going to roll out a very uh, an overall update for the entire market, giving us some pers historical perspective going back a number of years so we can see how things compared to back then. And then January, I'll come out with another Palmetto Trace specific market for you. Uh, to wrap up kind of the year and review of 2022, but also look at pricing projections going into uh, uh, 2023. So a lot to watch. We're certainly slower. I, I don't look at it as something to be scared of or frightened of. It's just something to manage and deal with. I've sold real estate in slow markets before. Uh, again, the fundamentals really are important. Marketing is that much more important. You have to have a plan for all this to to sell in this type of market. So Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'm done for the night and I'll see you on the other side of 50. Thanks for watching.